What is the difference between a halberd and a poleaxe, and is the Lawbringer's weapon from For Honor a halberd or a poleaxe? Now, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. I cut my hair, and by that I mean I was the one who cut it. It was far too long, for too long, I've been super busy, and I just decided to cut it. I used to cut my hair when I was in the military, but that was just like a buzzing around the whole thing with one length guard. This time I tried like a shorter on the side, longer on top thing, and I quickly realized that that was a mistake. But that's what hats and not caring are for. Anyway, does the Lawbringer have a poleaxe or a halberd? Well, first off, I want to say that when it comes to pole arms, things aren't really as clear cut as many people would like. There's a lot of overlap, and it often comes down to one or two defining features, like sometimes one polearm has this, and an incredibly similar polearm has that same thing a bit less often. Both poleaxes and halberds fall into the axes on sticks category of polearms. In fact, that's thought to be pretty much the etymology for both from different paths. They're also defined further by having other striking points, often a thrusting spear on top, and usually a hook or spike on the back for a polearm, or a hook, spike, or hammer for a poleaxe. So right off the bat, the Lawbringer's weapon must be a poleaxe, because it's got that hammer, right? Well, let's look at length. A poleaxe is usually about as tall as its user, and very rarely longer, sometimes shorter. A halberd is often as tall as its user, with their arms outstretched to the top, and sometimes even more. So this clearly is more of a halberd in length, especially when we consider that this dude is over six feet tall. I mean, that would definitely be a halberd for me, but somebody like Shaq could use it like a poleaxe. So by one metric it's a halberd, by another it's a poleaxe. See what I mean by these things getting kind of foggy? Another defining feature is poleaxes often has langettes running down the sides. They don't just mount to the tippy top of the shaft, they have arms running down the side that are bolted on, and this both helps keeps it on and can protect the shaft from damage. I can't really recall seeing a poleaxe without these. Halberds, on the other hand, sometimes have these, but sometimes not. The Lawbringer's default weapon has small ones, so that doesn't really help clear that up which one it is. Some of their weapon sets have more prominent ones, some less so. And another way to judge is how they're used. Halberds, being longer, are best used to maximize that distance. You grip lower on the shaft to make most of... to make the most of that distance. You can definitely grip higher up for more mobility, but it was generally used with reach in mind. A poleaxe, on the other hand, was used gripped more in the middle, you know, both sides of the middle, so that way you could parry with it better, maneuver around with it better, and make use of the fourth striking area, which was the butt spike. While some other polearms had butt spikes, those were more, if the main head broke, they could use that one. But with a poleaxe, it's just as vital a weapon as any other part of it. Many of the Lawbringer's weapon sets showcase a butt spike, and from what I've seen of the move sets, it's used more like a poleaxe. So even though it is more like a halberd in some regards, I think it's more a poleaxe. Both for those reasons and because the wiki itself calls it a poleaxe. So I could have just made an entire video of that, but hope you liked the breakdown of these two weapons.